properties of matter we have seen that matter will have property something called mass and uh, property uh, another property called charge right so when charge is stationary it produces electric effect so magnetic effect is produced by the charge when charge is in motion so in this chapter we will be talking about magnetic effect of moving charge or magnetic effect of current all this we are going to discuss in this chapter so magnetism frequently used in present technology or day to day uses you must have seen like uh, on atm card there will be a magnetic strip over it or mri scanning machine that will be using magnetism okay and maglev train these all use magnetism so very interesting topic so let's see so earlier people used to think that uh, electric or electric effect or electrostatic and magnetism both are different things okay later people realized that both are same thing or in combination we cannot uh, segregate them okay so different situation when part particle is stationary it will be producing electric field when it is in motion it is producing magnetic field that means you cannot segregate electric field and magnetic field so oster once performed experiment and uh, he realized that uh, a current will have magnetic effect and what was the experiment look at this so in a circuit if switch is closed then current is start flowing and as current is start flowing what he observed that a magnetic campus placed near to the current carrying wire it got deflected so that means this current is producing magnetic field that's why magnet is getting or magnetic needle is getting deflected so here we will learn how current is producing magnetic field so if i take a small element on a wire and uh, i want to find out what is the magnetic field at particular distance from the small part of the wire then what i need to know first is biosevert's law so biosevert's law is for small elements so if i take a small element on the wire how much the magnetic field this small segment will produce at particular point we get from biosevert's law so magnetic field produced by produced at some point by a small current carrying element is given by so a small element carrying current i produces magnetic field mu not upon 4 pi i dl vector cross r vector divided by r cube this is experimental result right so experimentally we have this expression here mu not upon 4 pi is a constant where mu not is permeability of the free space and the value of mu not upon 4 pi like 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not we have 10 to the power minus 7 okay so this is the expression here we are defining length as vector whose direction will be along the direction of current so over the element this here ds is written i am calling now dl so dl is along the direction of current so this is the way current is flowing and we are defining vector which is along the direction of current right and uh, from this element at distance r i want to find out magnetic field for that i'll use biosevert's law so this r vector is position of the point with respect to element where we want to find out field so this r is position vector of the point where field is to be calculated position vector of point with respect to element with respect to element where field is to be calculated
So, this R is clear DLS length of the element, this DLS length of the element. element on wire and B is magnetic induction. So, the magnetic field produced by this small element at some distance r is given by this expression and here this value is constant that is mu naught upon 4 pi that value is 10 to the power minus 7. This B is measured in Tesla, okay. So, SI unit of this one is Tesla. Now, look at the expression here you are getting vector and these all are scalar, okay. These all are scalar except these two DL and R. So, from cross product we know that if two vectors, if I take a plane. this is A vector and this one is B vector. So, A cross B, A vector cross B vector, let that be C vector, okay. So, A cross B, if C vector, then the direction of C vector is rotate A towards B using right hand. So, I will stretch finger along the direction of A vector and then I will rotate it towards second vector. So, first vector towards second vector. So, rotate finger from first vector towards the direction of second vector and thumb will give you the direction of the C vector. So, C vector will be something like this. So, that C vector will be perpendicular to A as well as B. So, I can say C vector is perpendicular to the plane carried by a and B vector. So, with the help of A and B vector you form a plane and perpendicular to the plane the vector will be and now perpendicular to the plane we may have this direction or this direction. So, which direction it will be you have to rotate first vector towards second vector. So, first vector towards second vector will give you direction of C vector, right. So, this cross product concept we know and using this one I will get the direction here. So, this one is R vector, right? This one is R vector, this is DL vector, and uh, DL vector is defined along the direction of current. DL vector is defined along the direction of current. So, if I ask what is the direction of dB, so rotate DL towards R. So, rotate DL, DL using right hand. So, first stretch finger along the direction of current and rotate it towards R vector. So, this is DL vector, this is R vector, I will rotate DL towards R. So, thumb is pointing inward direction, right. So, magnetic field at that particular point will be inward direction and uh, and circle cross is the representation of inward field, inward field and n circle dot is the representation of outward field. So, as in this situation for this particular point field is inward direction, I will draw n circle cross. Instead of taking point somewhere here, if I take point here and for this particular point, I want to find out direction, right. So, now this will be R vector, this will be R vector and we need to rotate DL towards R. So, rotate DL towards R, then thumb is pointing outward. So, to represent the direction here, what I will draw? N circle dot because field is towards you outward. So, this is the way we just draw the field, okay. Let us get back to the expression. So, dB is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi I dl cross R divided by R cube. I can further simplify it 
so this can be written db is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i dl vector mod r vector mod divided by r vector cube and the angle between these two vectors in this case if dl is in this direction and r is in this direction let this angle be theta so if this angle is theta then i can write sin theta here and if you further simplify we are getting up now you have converted the vector form into a scalar form so better write mod this side so db mod is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i dl this r r will get cancel out sin theta divided by r square so this is the formula we will be using when it is required to have magnetic field in a scalar format and this is when it, it is required to have magnetic field in vector format right so i hope these two are clear so this is bio severs law this is the first time we are uh, discussing any law which is meant for element okay so for this element how much is the field produced by how much is the field produced by the element that we are writing okay so if i ask what is the field produced by whole wire then obviously you need to integrate you have to add the contribution of every element at this particular point to get the total field that means for any other type of structure whether we have a straight wire or we have circular wire or we have coil we have solenoid we have toroid so for all these type of structure our starting point will be this right so from here onwards whatever we will be doing for any current distribution we will be using this formula so this is meant for element and using this one integrating this one i'll get for any other type of distribution so this is the most important formula we have in this chapter now what is current here current is nothing but flow of charge inside a wire electrons will be moving in opposite direction or i can say positive charge is moving in the same direction as that of current so all the charges inside they are producing magnetic field at this particular point and adding them for this dl element you are getting the total field so that means charge inside while moving producing magnetic field at that particular point so let's first talk about the field created by charge okay so uh, here it is written the unit of magnetic induction is tesla okay so the unit is called tesla abbreviated as t in the honor of nikolas tesla right so this is measured in tesla i already told you now magnetic field of moving point charge moving charge relative to observer produces magnetic field so just now we have seen this expression db is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i dl magnitude only i am writing i dl sin theta divided by r square okay and uh, if i want to have this whole expression in vector form then i can write it this way so better write in vector form because the whole expression if you know in vector form it would be better so mu naught upon 4 pi i dl cross r 
and here you are going to get r cube. Now look at this expression. If I have a moving charge, say positive charge moving this way. In dt time, this charge will cover dl distance and I am interested in finding the magnetic field at this particular point. So, if it is moving with velocity v, i I can write dq by dt. So, here this can be written dq by dt. If here I write dq by dt, so that dt I can write with the dl. So, this whole thing can be written, this can be written v and uh, mu naught upon 4 pi dq v cross r as we are talking about this whole q charge, the whole expression can be written, this whole expression b is equal to, the whole expression can be written b is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi q v cross r divided by r cube. So, in place of dq because this is a full charge, I will write dq there and this dv will get converted into v. So, b is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi q v cross r divided by r cube. So, moving charge produces magnetic field and same way like at an angle theta if I want, then I can further simplify and I will write the magnitude dv is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi q v vector mod r vector mod sin theta sin theta divided by r cube. So, as you can see that the value of magnetic field at this particular point depends on its position, its angle and the velocity of charged particle. So, on these three factors it depends charge, velocity and the position and angle velocity vector makes with position vector. If I say theta is equal to 0 that means I am talking about point which is on the path of the charge for theta is equal to 0, this point will come here. So, for theta is equal to 0, you are going to get magnetic field 0. So, on the path of the charge, the magnetic field there will be 0. If you extend that in backward direction, then also it will be 0. In this situation, then if I move this point here, then this angle will be 180 degree. If this angle is 180 degree, this value will again be 0. So, for theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to 180 degree, it will be 0. That means, if point is on the path of the charge, then there would not be any magnetic field at that particular point. Now, this is mod b. What if our charge is negative? So, if it is positive, then what is the direction of magnetic field at this particular point? Let us first talk about direction. So, for direction, you have to rotate velocity towards r, rotate velocity towards r, right? This using right hand. So, I will stretch my finger towards velocity and then I will rotate it towards r and thumb will give me the direction of this b vector, okay? So, rotate velocity towards r, here I want to find out field. So, velocity towards r inward and circle cross. If I take point somewhere here, 
this will be r vector. So, rotate velocity towards r pointing out in circle dot, so in circle cross and circle dot depending on where we are talking about. If our charge become negative, if our charge is negative then this quantity you will write with minus sign. So, if you are writing this quantity with minus sign that means opposite to the direction of V cross R there will be magnetic field. So, if this charge assume this charge become negative, this charge become negative and this is the way we have velocity. So, this point opposite to the direction of V cross R. So, V cross R is coming inward opposite to that. That means here it will become encircled dot and here it will become encircled cross. Direction of field will get reverse simple right. So, two points we have discussed the direction of B is along the direction of V cross R. If charge is positive, if charge is positive then it is along the direction of V cross R and opposite to V cross R if charge is negative right. Next point look at this one I already explained the magnitude of B is mu naught upon 4 pi q V sin theta divided by R square ok and uh, theta is the angle between velocity vector and R vector velocity vector and r vector and for 0 theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to 180 degree this value will be 0 theta is equal to 0 and 180 degree the value is 0 and for theta is equal to 90 degree this value will be maximum. So, if I want to find out field exactly at somewhere here which is making 90 degree then here field will be maximum. So, same r distance if I go from here to here, here field will be maximum, here field will be maximum in magnitude ok. Now, let us move to Biosevert's law. So, for element what is the magnetic field at distance r that we have seen in the previous slide and using that result I can get the expression for magnetic field produced by moving charge ok. So, if you remember just one expression either this or that other expression you can easily derive. Now, what we will do we will use that result for different type of current distribution, but before that same thing we will discuss for element. If I have element here and if uh, we write dv is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i dl sin theta divided by r square. So, magnitude only I am writing now when theta is equal to 0 this value will be 0 that means on element if you want to find out field on element or extension of element whether forward or backward in both the cases you are going to get magnetic field 0 because theta will be 0 for that situation. Similarly, for 80 degree ok. So, 0 or 180 degree and the direction dB will be parallel to dB will be parallel to dL cross R dL vector cross R vector right. Now, by convention I already explained this point that by convention the direction of magnetic field B is perpendicular to the paper going inward is shown by an circle cross. If it is inward and circle cross we represented and if it is outward then an circle dot ok. Now, let us see next one. So, now we will take different uh, current distributions and uh, 
for those current distribution we want to find out field okay so if i take a straight wire due to this straight wire i want to find out what is the magnetic field at this particular point so let's start we know field produced by a small element okay so let's first draw diagram again so that you will have clarity so i have one current carrying wire which carries current i and say i want to find out the field because of this wire at some distance d according to diagram d i want to find out field at this particular point so depending on the way i have selected point here or here the line joining this point to this end will make different different angle so if i have taken point point here see this angle is alpha and this angle is beta and instead of taking point here if i just move the point up from here here if i take point then this line and this line now you can see these angles will be different so i can locate the point with the help of angle now this will become some alpha dash and this will become beta dash so with the help of angle i can locate the point so for a given point we will be having fixed value of alpha and beta now see this is d and this is alpha and if i take element somewhere here because of this element at this particular point i'll have some field this is r vector this is dl vector this is dl vector this is r vector okay from element to the point okay so position vector of point with respect to element this r will be something like this so because of this element what would be the direction dl vector cross r vector it will be inward if i say instead of taking element here if i take element somewhere here what would be the direction It's still same again from element to the point so rotate dl towards r thumb is again pointing inward so because of all the element on the wire because of all the element on the wire magnetic field produced will be in inward direction as magnetic field is a vector quantity so we can directly add the contribution of all the element if magnetic field is changing its direction we must have resolved the component and then we need to add but here magnetic field because all the element are coming in the same direction i can directly add i hope this whole thing is clear so let's get back to the diagram
see. So, along the direction of current, current is going this way, we are defining this as dl. In this case, I am calling dy because it is along y axis, so dy and this is r vector. So, this one is r vector. Do remember position vector of the point with respect to element, right. So, if I write dB is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi, dB is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i dy sin theta divided by r square formula I am using sin theta sin this angle. So, alpha beta phi theta is written. So, I require this angle. This angle is pi minus theta. Okay. So, from the direction of current towards r whatever be the angle that angle I need to right here pi minus theta. And uh, theta further I can write in terms of alpha, sorry in terms of phi, look at this theta and phi. So, phi is equal to or theta is equal to 90 minus phi. So, here I can write in terms of theta or the in terms of phi I can write theta that is 90 minus phi. Okay. So, 90 pi by 2 minus phi I can write. So, in next step I will substitute the value divide by the separation, separation is r, this is r. Okay. So, r square if you look at the expression, then problem is there are three variables. One is y, another is r and then the angle. So, either you can convert phi and r in terms of y or you can convert y and phi in terms of r or you can convert y and phi in terms of r right. If we have only one variable inside, then we can integrate with respect to that variable. So, our now aim is getting the whole expression in terms of single variable. So, let us first substitute here. So, if we substitute here, this is 90, this is pi by 2 and then phi, phi will come with plus sign, then pi by 2 plus phi we are getting. Let us check. So, sin pi minus pi by 2 okay, and uh, this will be plus theta sorry plus phi plus phi and here you will get pi by 2 with minus plus phi sin. Okay. So, if you take minus out then sin 90 minus theta I can write cos theta. Okay. So, cos phi I can write here, let us substitute these values also. So, relation between y and phi, y and phi, y by d y by d is equal to phi. So, y by d is equal to 10 phi. If you differentiate this equation, then you will get dy because this perpendicular distance d is constant. Okay, so, this d is constant. So, y is equal to d 10 phi, dy is equal to d sec square phi d phi. 
now we have dy and similarly i can get the value of r look at r this is r this is y this is d so relation between r phi and d d by r is equal to cos phi d by r is equal to cos phi that means r is equal to d sec phi so this i can place in the expression similarly this i can place in the expression the substitute both the values and see what we are getting so mu not upon 4 pi i into dy is equal to d sec square d phi into here cos phi divided by r r from here i can write d square sec square phi now if you simplify d d square so divided by d so mu not upon 4 pi i divided by d i divided by d and cos phi d phi cos phi d phi is db this is the magnitude of the field produced by this element and all such element will produce the field in the same direction i can add now i need to put the limit of phi and as you can see that for this point you have to go this way and for this point you have to go this way so minus beta to plus alpha anti clockwise clockwise so minus beta plus alpha okay so as you can see we are getting integration of cos sin upper limit minus lower limit so mu not upon 4 pi i by d integration will give you sin alpha plus sin alpha plus sin beta okay so final expression is mu not upon 4 pi i by d sin alpha plus sin beta due to this wire whole wire at this particular point right but what i suggest instead of remembering expression this way you try to remember expression in terms of the angle from the direction of flow of current so i'll convert the whole expression maximum book you will get the expression this way sin alpha plus sin beta later i'll tell you ki why i am suggesting that but for time being just keep in mind that uh, this expression i'll convert from the direction of current let this angle is theta 1 and from the direction of current here let this angle is theta 2 okay so i'll extend the current over there i'll extend the current here and from the direction of current this angle is theta 2 so theta 1 i can write 90 minus theta 1 i can write 90 minus beta so beta i can write 90 minus theta 1 so here i write 90 minus theta 1 which will give you cos okay 
and alpha I can write, look at alpha, alpha here, this whole thing is alpha and this will be 90 minus alpha, this is 90 minus alpha and 90 minus alpha plus theta 2 is 180 degree, that means alpha I can write, get this term this side and you are going to get 90 and minus theta 2, okay, this is minus alpha, so alpha is equal to theta 2 minus 90. So when I substitute alpha over here, theta 2 minus 90, if I take minus out, minus out that will become 90 minus theta 2, that will be cos. So what we can see? after substituting these values, mu naught upon 4 pi i by d sin theta 1 sin got converted into cos cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. So, this is the expression I will be applying. If you think you are comfortable with this formula, you apply this formula and reason I will tell later why I prefer this formula, right. mu naught upon 4 pi i by d cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. Only thing you have to keep in mind from the direction of current. So, from where current is coming and where current exit, current enters here, current exit here. So, this angle is theta 1, this angle is theta 2, right. So, this expression is clear. Let us move to next one. So, for infinite long straight wire, Okay. Ultimately, what we have? So, if I take infinite wire, this is extended to minus infinity and this goes up to plus infinity, right? and uh, somewhere here I want to find out field. So, as these are going till infinity, if I join, if I join here, then this angle alpha is tending towards 90 degree and similarly, if I try to join this one to the end of the wire, infinite wire, this is also tending towards, beta is tending towards 90 degree and formula was sin alpha plus sin beta, sin alpha plus sin beta mu naught upon 4 pi i by perpendicular distance a. So, sin 90 and another sin 90 will give you 2 here. So, this is 1 and this one is 1 will give you 2. So, this 2 you can see here, right and look at the expression here. B is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi 2 i by r, okay. So, magnitude is clear. Now, I will draw field. So, what is written here? I explained. From wire at distance r, okay. from wire 
a distance r everywhere you are going to get field of same magnitude it just depends on r so from very large infinite wire at some distance r you are going to get same magnitude and magnetic field lines form closed loop magnetic field lines form closed loop if i take a small segment here small segment here i am getting field A small segment here i am getting field in this direction if this is the way current is flowing so if this is the way current is flowing rotate current current or dl element towards r here inward and if you take point somewhere here rotate dl towards r it is outward so here it is outward here it is inward similarly exactly in front of wire so in front of wire if i take point somewhere here so point just in front of wire dl cross r field is coming in this direction so for the wire at this point field is coming in this direction here it is coming in this direction here it is coming in this direction that means around the wire field is forming a circular loop whose center will be on the wire so there exists depending on the value of r there exist so many loops whose center will be on the wire itself so the magnetic field pattern what you are going to get around the wire will be something like this so this is the way you are going to get magnetic field pattern around wire right and if you place needle on a plane like wire is passing through a board and you place magnetic needle then as you move it will be pointing tangentially so here you place it will be pointing tangentially here you place it will be pointing inward here you place it will be pointing outward you can see from diagram so using db is equal to mu not upon 4 pi i dl cross r divide by r square using this one you can find out direction right what we have done in the previous case there is another way of finding direction and that is more direct like if you place your thumb along the direction of current and start rotating your hand keeping finger perpendicular to the palm so keep finger perpendicular to the palm and then curl your finger around the wire keeping thumb along the direction of current then you will get the direction of magnetic field around it so this way also i can get the direction of magnetic field around straight wire okay if you have any doubt in this one best thing is db is equal to mu not upon 4 pi i dl cross r because of a small element find the direction and by that you can predict what is happening due to whole wire right and this is another method placing thumb along the direction of current and rotating your finger around the wire will give you the direction of magnetic field so i hope this is clear so magnetic field mu not upon 4 pi 2 i by r and uh, direction can be found using this one or by right hand rule now let's move to next one semi infinite wire so semi infinite wire is again a straight wire right so this side it is going till infinity so this side it is going till infinity and it is carrying carrying current this way so now okay before we understand one point then we will see the pattern if i want field 
at this point using formula what we have derived mu naught upon 4 pi pi by perpendicular distance a or r in this case it is r. So, I will write r here r in bracket cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. So, from the direction of current, current is like this, we join these points, this angle we defined as theta 1 and from the direction of current here, this angle we defined theta 2. So, as you can see this angle is trending towards 0, if r is infinitely long, this angle will be very small and we can say that it is trending towards 0. Similarly, here this angle will be 90 degree. So, if I substitute these two values here, B is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi I by R in bracket cos 0 minus cos 90 degree, then the result we are getting B is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi I by R this is 1 and this one is 0, right. You can see this result is half of the previous one, okay. Previous case we got 2 times here. So, in this chapter you are going to get so many result that you may get confused how to remember all the terms. So, I will tell you the simple trick we are not going to disturb the constant term mu naught upon 4 pi as it is you remember and whatever coming in front of it that only you have to remember. Otherwise in some formula mu naught upon pi will come, mu naught upon 4 pi will come, mu naught upon 2 pi will come. So, you have to remember what is here as well as what is here. You may get confused. So, do not disturb this term mu naught upon 4 pi, just remember what constant you are getting. So, previous case it was 2 i by r and this case it is i by r ok. Now, obviously it has to be why if I complete this wire this will become same this will become infinite wire that means at this particular point half of the contribution was coming from here and half of the contribution was coming from here and we were getting mu naught upon 4 pi 2 i by r. Now, if you remove the upper part the contribution will be only because of the lower part and it will be mu naught upon 4 pi i by r ok. So, magnitude is clear. At this particular point, if I want to draw field pattern or I want to draw field pattern for whole space, so how it will be? So, using thumb, you can get the direction easily. So, this is the way you extend the thumb and then rotate finger. So, around it you can see circle. So, field lines will be something like this. If you assume field uh, current is in this direction then this is the way field lines will be in a space ok and magnitude at distance r is given by mu naught upon 4 pi i by r. I hope this point is clear. So, this is the way magnetic field will be there. So, whether we have infinite straight wire around it coaxial circles on the same plane. So, better I can say concentric circles their center will lie on the wire. So, if I am interested what is happening here, I will draw circle whose center will be on the wire. If I ask what is happening here, then again I will draw circle whose center will be on the extension of the wire. For example, if I say so 
I will uh, remove this part. Tell me what is the field at this particular point. And this wire goes till infinity. So, semi infinite wire or infinite wire, this is going till infinity. And from here, so this is the way we have line joining. Actually, it has become little curve. So, Yes, I remove this one. Now I hope this looks little straight. Okay, so now this is the line joining end of the wire to the point where we are interested in calculating magnetic field, and it is given to you that. Uh, from here it is making this angle say 60 degree right and uh, obviously if you join this to this one this angle will be tending to 0 degree right. So, our theta 1 is 0 and our theta 2 theta 2 is 60. Now, our formula is this is for semi infinite b is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i by from extension of the wire what is this perpendicular distance that I write here r okay and uh, in bracket cos theta 1 that is 0 minus cos 60 degree simple just substitute the value. So, here what we are getting 1 minus 1 by 2 mu naught upon 4 pi i by r. So, 1 by 2 this will give you mu naught upon 8 pi i by r this is the answer. So, mu naught upon 8 pi i by r is what we are getting. Now, if you apply formula b is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i by r sin alpha plus sin beta then you have to be little careful why. So, mu naught upon 4 pi i by r sin alpha plus sin beta these two angles were considered this way. this was alpha and this was beta ok. Now, look at this situation, look at this situation ok. Let it be like that, so that you can understand an angle. This is beta tending to 90. So, this beta is tending to 90 no problem, alpha this is 30, 30. Now, for this situation where alpha was in clockwise you have written plus alpha and for beta minus beta. So, beta is again 
90 but alpha what you have written there that was for this situation in clockwise but here you are getting that anti clockwise so you have to write minus 30 in the expression then only you will get correct answer right so here what i write sin alpha plus sin beta mu naught upon 4 pi mu naught upon 4 pi i by a okay and uh, beta beta i write 90 so this will become 1 if i just write alpha is equal to 30 this will be coming 1 by 2 and then it won't match with this so if you substitute now alpha as minus 30 then you will get minus 1 by 2 and then the answer will be correct so we may commit such type of mistake in exam so to avoid this adjustment of plus alpha and minus alpha what i am suggesting you don't remember this formula you remember this formula and by this it will be very easy and uh, chances of mistake will be very less only thing you have to remember from the direction of current you need to write angles okay so here 0 here 60 degree so i hope uh, this logic is clear why i told you this formula so today we discuss magnetic field produced by straight wire and biosever's law so mu naught upon 4 pi i by a cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 okay this is due to straight wire and then we learn b is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i by a i i dl cross r divided by r cube by severs law and using this one we derive this result so today we just completed this part and in the next class we will take up some other distribution so i hope you enjoyed today's class Thanks very much for watching.